practice at 4.30 one, time, one day this week. Does that kind of uh, illustrate maybe the girls are willing to work and, and get better? The one, you know, 4.30 is off early in the morning. Oh, no, 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 no doubt. That's dedication, you know. Uh, and we practice at 4.30 in the morning for several reasons. Uh, I wish we could do it more, to be honest with you, because uh, I just think, you know, in the morning, you know, you, you just your mind is working better, you know, more alert, you know. Uh, and we've had some great practices at 4.30 in the morning. That's why I, I enjoy it. Once we get here, it's, it's a joy, you know. But um, that's just something that we, we started a few years ago and we just couldn't get everybody, you know, practicing together they may have like a club meeting or may have to have to go out of town or something like that so to make sure everyone could be present at the practice the only time we had was to go in the morning before school before school you know what i mean and but it, there has been times where we just challenged challenged them and said hey you know we're gonna practice at 4 30 in the morning you know and and they showed up you know worked hard had a good practice and those, we call those champion hours you know what i mean that's making a sacrifice getting up early some people are still sleeping and we up working, you know what I mean? So you got to get you got to get up pretty early in the morning to beat the flying eagles to the gym. <laughs> well, you know that's one thing I took from Coach Barksdale, and it carried on it, uh, until my, my playing days in college. You know, uh, you know, you get to the gym early, you stay late. You know, those type of players are your best players in the, in the country, in the world. You know, this type of dedication, Kobe Bryant. You know, Michael Jordan, you know, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, those those guys, you know, Larry Bird back in the day, you know, those guys sacrificed and, and, and worked on their game, you know, early in the morning, late at night. How much fun is it to coach with your brother, Gene? It's a, it's Another a, one of the time. Man, it's, a, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to have my brother by my side. You know, Gene has a lot of knowledge, uh, a lot of things that he could, you know, teach the girls from as far as the level that he played on, playing at LSU and then playing at Robert Morris. And then playing overseas, you know, it's just it's just a blessing. You know, it's my brother, my blood brother, and, and I love him to death. And just to be able to see him every day and, you know, work together, the best way I can describe it is a blessing. It's a pleasure and a blessing. Was your best time as coaches together winning that first state championship or that first state tournament game? Um, that was a, yeah, that was a, uh, that was a joyous time, but probably the best – so far, the best experience we've had together is when we finally cracked and, and punched our ticket to go to the state tournament. We beat, uh, I think that was in 2018, I believe, where we beat St. Albans in the regional. Man, that was, that was beautiful. That, that was a great moment. Um, and there was a few other moments, of course, you know, uh, you know, beating Greenbrier East, you know what I mean, under all that, you know, stress and situation that we had to deal with, all that adversity. And for us to overcome that, you know. 2019? Uh, that was 2020. 20, yeah, right 2020. Which is when you won the state tournament game. Won that state tournament game, And then yeah. the, the yeah. tournament was shut yeah. down. Yeah, so we couldn't really celebrate too much because we wasn't done. You know what I mean? We beat Morgantown, and we won a mission. So we couldn't celebrate. We was happy, and you know, but we couldn't celebrate because we still had work to do. What's the talent level like this year, you think? Our team? Yeah, I know you told me you don't hey, haven't, haven't found that leader yet. So. Yeah, we're still looking for a leader, and um, the talent level is good. You know, we, we're we're good. We're missing a you know a, a couple players, but uh, hey, you know we gotta we gotta move on. You know, we gotta somebody else gotta step up, and I believe the ones who's gonna have an opportunity to step up in their spot, I believe I believe they'll do. They, I believe they're gonna do a good job. I believe they'll accept, accept the challenge and do a great job for us. You got the section, you got the region, you got to the state tournament one game. What's the next? Is the next goal winning? The tournament in Charleston? Oh, no doubt. That's always. Oh, that's always the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to win a state championship, no doubt. What would it mean, you think, to the girls' program around here to do that? I mean, I would assume that it's state tournament win, although COVID kind of knocked everything out, which is a shame. But, you know, you got that win down there. What would a state championship win mean to the girls' Man, it would, program and it just in the Beckley area? Honestly, you know, and I, I may be biased or call it selfish, whatever you want to call it, I, I believe it will mean everything. And the reason I say this is because it's never been done. In the history of the school, there has not been a girls' basketball state championship team through the history of the school. So to get their picture on that wall right there would just mean everything to the team. I think it would mean everything to the school. It would be another program that – be able to put up a state championship banner and a state championship uh, picture, you know, uh, another program, you know what I mean? So I, I just think it would mean everything. 
And uh, I would just love to, uh, I love for them to have that experience. You know, I won it as a player. And I was part of a state championship team as a coach. And I want, we, we want them to be, to experience that, be part of a state championship team. Are, are some of your biggest fans and uh, your ex teammates, guys that uh, played in the program? Uh, you mentioned Kevin. Mission, say it again. Are, are some of your biggest fans, uh, even in your program, guys you played with, your four former teammates here? Um, and, and I know a lot of those guys that are around the program. You know, Tink's back helping guys. Gene's brother obviously played for Woodrow, you did. Uh, you mentioned Kevin, and I know he's a big fan of yours as a coach. What uh, are, are those guys? Um, I don't know if it's so much of a Not fan, but, but but support. Right. Yeah, we we get a lot of support from guys that I play with in high school and in college. You know, a lot of my friends because they know how hard I work and they know <laughs> they know how hard I take losses. You know, I, I wear my emotions on my sleeve when it comes to a loss. You know, I can't wait to get back in the gym to to improve on the things we need to get better at. So uh, it's a lot of support from, from former teammates and, and, and friends and throughout the city, those that know me, family members, those that know me, we just get a lot, a lot of support, a lot of you support. Any, in your high school days, do you, you guys ever have to practice after a loss? No, nah, no, nah, we haven't We haven't got to that point yet. And I probably never will do that. In this day and time, can't do that. Can't do that. It's just Did parents, you have, did it happen to you when you were playing in high school? Not me, but Gene. Gene experienced it. <laughs> yeah, Gene. Gene experienced it. But you just, you just in these day, this day and time, parents are just not gonna. They, they just not gonna accept it. You know. I mean, it just you'll. They'll complain about it, and and I'm just being honest. You know, it's just a different time. Um, it's a lot of things. You just you you. It'd be difficult to do in this Is that day. The hardest thing for you to accept that you can't do things oh, the way yeah. you were brought up to do them. Oh, yes. Oh, I yes. mean, because like you said, oh, yes. and a lot of people you heard it, I'm sure, and he sure yells at his girls a lot. Oh he yeah, I, I just I keep it real. You know, I don't think about when I, I mean, I, of course, I think about what I'm gonna say, but as far as my delivery, it just comes out. You know, what I mean, I'm intense, and like I said, I, I I yell when I tell them good job. You know, I'm the I'm their biggest fan. Believe it or not, I, I want to see them play well. And I'm, I'm their biggest cheerleader, you know. Are you proud of the fact you've been able to put uh, girls in, in college? You play playing oh, in college? Yeah, I mean, that, no doubt. That's probably something else that, you know, wasn't for a few years. There probably weren't a lot of girls from the program going on. I mean, it seems like you've given them a, maybe a, the knowledge that they can go on and play at the next level. And some of these girls are really, really good high school players. But, Again, yeah, that's – that's, that's um, it's a blessing. Uh, very, very. That that's uh, you know very, very excited about that. You know, and I take a lot of pride in that. You know what I mean? Because that's what it's all. That's not what it's all about. But if a if a student athlete wants to further their career and play at the next level, then then yes, that is what it's all about. As far as as, as well as getting an education, you know, that's the most important thing. But they want to play college basketball, so I feel obligated to help them do that. How many you got now? Right now, playing playing college basketball right. now. Uh, right now, we have uh, two planned present, uh, one already graduated, and uh, we've had several have opportunities, but didn't didn't take the opportunity. So right now, we only we only have two present at, at the present time, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure you're looking forward to seeing this scrimmage tonight to learn some things about your team. Oh, yeah, I know that it's early, and I know we're going to have a lot of uh, – you know, bumps and bruises and probably gonna make a lot of mistakes, but that's that's what it's all about, you know, to you know, you learn from your mistakes and it's like I said, it's early and definitely excited to see how they're gonna perform against, you know, another team. So they have been beating themselves up for the last for the past two weeks. So it'd be nice to see, you know, how they perform against a, a, a different team. All right, Brian, I appreciate the time and good luck this season. No doubt, thank you. Appreciate it.